Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, just thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you feel like the videos just really give you good insight, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And sending love, light, protection, and upliftment. Anybody who's coming in with negative vibes, hidden intentions, and evil motives. Hey, I'm sending it right back. 10 million times fold. Except with mine, it's going to be blessings, uplifting, it, and light. And the video I'm going to do today is called you, You're One of Many. There's a deeper reason why life hits you uh, with massive uh, pressure. It is true. A lot of times we, we go through a lot of things in our life uh, that can really shake you to the core. You know, you're really just trying to find your place in the world. You're really trying to understand why things fold, unfold the way they do. Why does everything have to be so extra, you know, when it comes to you? And a lot of times we don't understand this is a part of our growth process. This is about, you know, um, learning more about ourselves that we really truly didn't understand before. You know, it, it can get to that point where it's hard to digest the truth and acceptance of the things that we face, the things that we cause not just within ourselves, but what we have done to others or others have done to us is all unfolding for you to be able to understand. You know, your life is hitting different. You know, there's a lot of times we feel like the diamond in the rough or you, or, you know, or you're being labeled as the di diamond in the rough. And when you apply that pressure, you finally break away everything from that diamond just for it to shine the way it's supposed to be. You know, uh, you're priceless in so many ways. A lot of times we we place our, uh, we go our way to uh, make sure that other people see our values in so many different things in life. And so when we do that, you know, it's, it's allowing ourselves to get that external validation. Like, do you see I'm trying? Do you see that I'm trying to grow? Do you see that I care for you? I'm loyal to you. And these are the things It's just like we put so much stuff in, uh, in the exterior when we need to embrace that in the interior first, you know. And then it's just like when I say this retrograde is really hitting different, really hitting different. You know, it is like everybody's energy is truly on high. You know, these different things is taking place that, um, you know, it really triggers you in so many different ways. It's triggering other people. A lot of us are allowing ourselves to heal. You know, even though it'll be a 10 step forward and a million paces back or you're dealing with other energies that are in your surroundings that, you know, are, are testing you, uh, triggering you, distracting you. Or there's a lot of people that are in your, your you know, in your circle, in your surroundings that's really giving you that comfort, you know, allowing you to know you're never alone. Even when we have to do these things by ourselves, we're never really alone. You know, we, we do different things to overcome a lot of things that we, we allowed ourselves to accept. You know, uh, it could be that you're dealing with a lot of people that are, you know, toxic and you, you trying to understand, like, oh, I don't want to deal with them because they're toxic and stuff like that. But then it was just like you have to understand everybody that we connect with is mirroring each other on what we need to work on, what we need to let go of, what we need to uh, really build on. And a lot of times it's hard for us to really see our circumstances as really being a blessing in disguise. Sometimes you got to really step back. You know, and you, it, at times it'll be that kind of hard to be able to change your perspective on stuff depending on what you're dealing with. But then it's just like the pain will continue until you learn the lesson behind those situations. And then when you allow yourself to open up, you know, you have to be able to allow yourself to know you got this. You can get over this. You can be able to move from it. These things are bringing blessings in your life that allow you to know you to the core. You know, because um, I mentioned a lot of times when we when we go through a lot of situations, especially if you're going through toxic situations like with your uh, karmic cycles, you know, karmic family, you know, um, there'll be different things where they pick you as this individual to allow life to really hit you in really heavy and uh, powerful ways. And you're trying to understand, you know, why, you know, 
I, I constantly keep pushing out positivity. You know, I'm allowing myself to forgive, and there's so much that comes back at me that it makes me want to doubt myself. It makes me want to give up. And that's what, you know, these situations are teaching you. No matter what you're going through, they're telling you not to give up. You know, there's a lot of times where it may take you a little bit longer you know, to see the fruits of your labor or really see, you know, the goodness in those bad situations. They always try to remind you when sometimes you be giving the universe a side eye. There's blessings in every circumstance you have. There's blessings in every uh, connection you have with other people, whether it's good or bad. It's still something that you had to know about yourself, you know, about your surroundings. And just being an acceptance of, you know, how things really truly are within the truth. You know, a lot of times we go through things and it really triggers us to cloud our judgment or it plays doubt within our worth of ourselves, you know. And, you know, when you're dealing with so many different things into your life, you know, uh, where you really have to stop and press pause sometimes because it's like, with well, this day going retrograde, oh my God. It's just hitting in so many different ways where, you know, it, it will have you being happy, or have you being depressed, or have you being mad, make you want to go in rage, you know, come unglued, you know. But there's also times where you can really see if I didn't really go through this, would I really know what was worth fighting for? You know, uh, if you're in, in a situation where you're going through a lot of chaos, it'll show you, you, you can become that peace within that chaos that you're going through, you know, not allowing, you know, uh, your surroundings to really you know it's like a diversion from what you're supposed to be working on it's just not realizing that those tests are necessary um and i've said in different videos you know it's just like when you're going through stuff it's hard for you to be able to accept you know why you know certain people are the way they are and you have to understand these are the type of people that are in your life to give you growth you know you're a lesson for other people as they are a lesson for you and it's just like when I look at my situation, I've seen how people were quick to want to bring me down or quick to keep me silenced and stuff like that. And it allowed me to really know you must be on something that's very extraordinary for people. So many people that are trying to block you from that or make you want to doubt yourself or make you feel like, you know, my life will never get better beyond what I'm going through. And they always try, you know, universe always constantly reminds you wherever you're at, if you're not where exactly where you want to be right now, it is eventually getting there. And when you get there, you're allowing yourself to really look back, not as where you're focusing on the past, but you can look back and see how far, you know, your situation has just really changed you for better. You know, being able to understand, you know, if I went through this, you know, you're showing a lot of people, no matter what you've gone through, you can allow yourself to change your life if you're choosing to. And there's some people that, you know, choose not to. You know, a lot of times we get on that healing journey and, you know, we place judgment on others that are not ready to accept, you know, where they need healing. Some people are just like they're fo focused on focusing on not changing. And you just have to just send prayers to people like that. You know, we all have gone through our, our lives in some way or another. We can really be stubborn at times. And you have to be understanding of that. And a lot of times it's hard to be able to do that. Because I was like, I, I used to go on my vibes like, you really need to heal. You know, and you're telling people that, you know, you really need to face your truth. And a lot of times people, you know, they rather... You know, to just jump into whatever they're wanting and not wanting to allow themselves to get into the work of learning what, what your life can lead to. But it's just like when we start uncovering so much, you start finding hidden talents about yourself. You start finding out gifts that you had uh, that you never knew you had. You know, discovering uh, new uh, blessings about yourself where, you know, you may have been that person where everybody comes to. You know, or you always try to make friends with the underdogs, you know, the people that didn't really, you know, uh, get along with other people in, in school or at jobs or whatever like that. Or you see different people that became, you know, that picked on person and stuff like that. And you, you never know, you, they, your purpose is needed so much in, into the situation of change within our lives. You know, we always want to see how no matter what walk of life we come through, whatever our sexual interests are, you know, or past, like, you know, little kids and stuff like that. But um, different choices people have, we still can come together and say everybody's not different. You know, everybody is different. You're, you're special in a, your own unique way. We all have potential, but a lot of times we put our energy in things that are not good for us, you know, and our experiences 
be able to show us, hey, you need to place love in yourself because there's a lot of things that you will place love in that's not reciprocating that back. Or we're allowing people to walk over us. You know, a lot of times you're in situations where you you can be a toxic punching bag, you know, a doormat. And then it's showing you, you know, hold boundaries. You know, anybody who gets upset about the boundaries you have is not liking that because they, their manipulation can't interfere with what you got going on. And a lot of times the, the journey feels lonely, you know. And it, it's just like, it, it's not lonely because you got spirits all around you all the time that's assisting you but it's allowing you to break away things that are not on that frequency as yours you know not on the expect expectations people are willing to meet at you know always showing us proof to yourself don't lower your your vibration just to be able to meet people don't lower your vibration and water yourself down just to be in a situation where other people are, are at where you're clearly, you know, you're needed somewhere else. You know, this situation is taking you to your next chapter and not realizing that's what it's supposed to do. Even when things hit you heavy, constant. You know, we always go through different things where we question, you know, and it's hard at times for us to really trust the process that's taking place day by day. You see how, you know, you became healed in so many different ways where you, you're seeing what, where the areas were that you really needed that work on or you needed to focus on. And it, it's allowing you to appreciate everything that's going through. You know, because a lot of times I say in my videos, if you didn't face the things that you have going on into your life or see how badly, you know, people try to convince you of opposite of what you are, you know, you wouldn't really know how much strength you have until you have just strength a lot rely on you never know what real love is you know and, and unless you're in a situation that shows this is not love this is supposed to be just an experience for you to be able to see that you know and then you and then you end up showing great you know gratitude towards this um gratitude towards this on you know i'm glad that i had people neglect me because it really showed me i don't need people to be in my life to succeed you know a lot of times uh you see situations where people you know, won't set up here and support you just because it's you. You'll see them support other people, but when it comes to you, they won't do the same thing that you may have pushed out. Or a lot of times that people feel like if they don't assist that person or if they don't help that person, that person won't be able to exceed past all measures of any expectations, not just with yourself, but other people in your surroundings. And that's still not true. You know, um, you can be able to go through these things where it's showing you a lot of times when we're heading towards something that's greater than our mind can ever, you know, fathom or comprehend, you know, um, there'll be a lot of resistance that's placed in it. You know, a lot of times universe and God, as well as the devil, they will put different things in your path, to, you know, show kind of resistance just to see, are you going to fold over? Are you going to give up? You know, are you going to believe what other people are saying? You know, there's a lot of people that are projecting their fears on you. Uh, allowing yourself to place love even in things that show so much hate to you, you know, and allowing yourself, you know, we got a lot of time we got to mind ourselves to not take it personal with things that's going on because stuff is getting real. You know, the last couple of years it showed you who was very true to you and who wasn't, who was worth your energy and not worth your energy, different things you, you had to no longer entertain. You know, and you'll see how a lot of times it felt like, oh, my God, this is not changing. I'm tired of being in this situation. And it's just like a lot of times the universe and God and the devil will put stuff in there in your life. Just not for you to change the situation, but allow that, that situation to change you. And when you're allowing yourself to know, I love myself. So it's like when you're really knowing yourself on the inside out, you know, no matter what is coming to you, where people may pay to, you know, a bad image of you and anything like that, it won't affect you in that way because you know this is not something that you represent. You know, these are not things that you actually see within yourself. So it's not mattering, you know, what what people want me to get. That's that you're looking for approval. You're looking for, any, or is that person seeing my worth? And, you, you know, a lot of times we question that. It's just like, if, if people really cared about you, they wouldn't go out your, their way to hurt you. But there's a lot of times where we hurt each other, on, you know, on, on subconsciously. Or there will be different times we're not using uh, mindfulness or, uh, or uh, discernment. And we can actually hurt people in those ways. It's just like every relationship we had was showing you the do's and don'ts on what you had to do. And it's just like when we start placing that extra love into ourselves, we're not going to allow ourselves to give energy towards something that's just a total waste. You know, not holding resentment on the things that we, you know, do. There's a lot of times that we can 
you know, be upset about the fact is, you know, I say, I wish I would have not talked to that person, or I wish I wouldn't date this person, is like, like, like that. Or, you know, I should have never tr treated that person so, you know, uh, compassionately when all they did is bring pain to my life. And it's just like, you know, you have to remind yourself, never regret for you loving hard. That's a beautiful thing, you know. Don't allow yourself to feel like you're weak when you allow yourself to cry, you know, because these are the situations we're going through so many different pages that we're turning. And, you know, a lot of times we, we're having to venture towards things that are very uncomfortable for us. You know, you know what you have gone through in your life, you know what you have had to face, the things that really, you know, rocked your world, but it's allowing you to be humble, you know, you're that person that has been chosen to change what no longer needs to be, you know, keep reoccurring and stuff like that, and um, being able to do that, that takes work, that takes a lot of work, and you're proving that things can be, be impossible, they're possible with you. You know, because um, you'll be, there's a lot of us, especially with Hayokas and stuff like that, you will have a different background that really where people will know your story and it will be shook like, how were you able to deal with things like this? How were you able to still have a smile on your face? How are you able to still joke and bring love and nourishment towards things when the world seems so cruel to you? You know, and a lot of times we go through stuff, it's hard for us to let people close to us, it's hard for you to trust. You know, you put walls up in every place, you know, because you never know, you know, is something coming in your life? Is it being genuine? Do they have hidden intents or being motive? You know, and these are all the things we had to be able to go through. So when we know these different things may occur again, you already know what decision that, you know, you jump and ship before you can even go set a sail, you know, and it'll be those different things where you are like, you know, I'm glad that person was harsh with me or I'm glad, you know, these people had red flags with me because then it's allowing yourself to know, you know, a lot of times we're, we're collecting red flags and what that one red flag should have made us go left in the first place. And then it's allowing yourself to see, you know, when you see these things, it's like, Dad, why does everybody I meet? you know, have to do me like this or why, you know, why am I so caring towards people? And universe is always showing you when people are cruel to you like that, that shows more about their character and less about yours. If people are triggered by just your, your vibration of change, it irritates something that they 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 know they need to, you know, allow themselves to connect with they know they need to heal. They know they need to let go, you know, move forward and stuff like that. But they, sometimes they don't but these are the different things where you can still send blessings out to people you're learning to forgive something or someone or some situations that's not sorry you know that really truly hit you but th these are the different things you know I was it was always hard for me to be able to forgive a lot of things or let go of a lot of things but then it was just like these people that's what exactly what they came into your life for you know um and, you know, they always have life lessons to be able to help you strengthen yourself, even during your weakest moments. And, you know, being able to do that, a lot of times it's hard for us to forgive um, because it feels like we're giving approval of what people have done to us. Uh, being able to say it was okay to treat me like that or neglect me like that or abandon or, you know, just be deceptive. But it's not about that. You need peace into your life because we can see from others that choose not to heal and it's like they keep adding on more vibrations that can really you know just diminish your soul you know just really annihilate you in so many ways this is what happens when you are projecting on people or these are this is what happened when you're not allowing yourself to heal from things that um, take place in your life that was before that you you start placing every person in a category of what hurt you you become the culprit of the pain that was unleashed on you you're unleashing on others you know you're bleeding on people that didn't even catch you you know you're, you're lashing out at people that wasn't even a cause of that pain and th that's showing you you see how that person is or you see how the situation is place love in that you know you you when you start on that universal love language a lot of people don't know how to take that when you're so used to you know being a person that you know projects you know negativity or they're allowing herself to have that sign of weakness and try to project it off as strength and you know it's just like so many different things I had to really allow myself it's like with ADD 
and OCD, you know, you, you, I break down different things and try to put myself in their shoes to understand, you know, why they are the way they are. Or, you know, allowing myself to really dive deep within myself and just allowing myself to understand why does it affect me the way it does. You know, it's like when you're saying, even though people direct things towards you, it's never about you. It's, it's about how they feel about themselves. If they're doing it to you, they're doing it to other people too. And you have to understand, there's just certain things you have to, okay, that person is, you know, it's like, oh, Adam's being Adam or uh, Stacy's being Stacy. You know, that's how they roll. You know, it's like, oh, you're not the only person they do that to. Or, you know, there'll be different situations that you're really, you know, it can really take you aback. And then it's showing you the different sequence. If you didn't go through these things, you know, you would never know what love is or hate is, you know, what what's toxic, you know, because it was just during my awakening, I didn't really understand what codependency was, you know, or trauma bonding or soul tides or, you know, karmic cycles, karmic attachments. You know, I learned all these things through myself for allowing myself to really venture you know, towards those things, and it really wasn't easy to be able to do because it was just so many, you know, different things I was dealing with at once. And it's just like for you to be able to open the door to really understand why, you know, why is it hard for me to shake these things? Why is it hard for me to, uh, you know, really over overturn, you know, overturn these different situations? That um, excuse me, y'all, they they got these daggone ads in between us, uh, music. But, um, you know, why, why you go through these different things in your life, you're understanding yourself from every angle, every level. And it just shows you, you know, you got that beast within yourself, you know, when you're a warrior, when, you're, when your purpose is holding something bigger than you can ever comprehend. Life is going to hit you heavy. Life is going to really hit you heavy. You know, there's so many different times I've interacted with a lot of y'all and you're telling me how people lashed out on you or you're trying to, you know, you're trying your hardest just to build yourself up just for somebody to come in or a situation that's out of your control really knock you down. And these are telling you, these are the different things that's going to be worth your while. You had to be able to go through this to really see the strength within yourself that you neglected to see or you were scared to even connect with there's a part of yourself that you didn't even know existed you know and you had to be able to go through that a lot of times we don't really see that our 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 blessings come more from the pain than the joy it's like even though that that's a joy within itself is a blessing a blessing but then it's just like that pain it hits a whole total different situation where it can lead you down two paths you can have a path where you see your worth, you see the love within yourself, you're allowing yourself to, I would never neglect myself again, I would never doubt myself again, I would never fear myself of the unknown. These are the different things that took me there for me to be able to, have to actually see that stuff on a deeper level, on different directions. If I didn't have some kind of resistance, if I didn't have a speed bump, or I didn't have people constantly blocking me, or you know, wishing worse, or sending me down a situation where you know this is not where it's supposed to be. I'm supposed to go this direction, and people purposely send this direction to you because they're afraid of what you may discover about yourself. They want you to place that doubt into yourself. And the devil wants you to place that doubt into yourself, but you have that potential. Everybody does. Everybody does. You know, but it is just a lot of time people don't use it the right way or people some people are scared to even find out that that new self about them. You know, a lot of times it's hard to, you know, connect with challenges. It's hard to adjust to change. And it's like you need to be able to grow. You need to be able to explore more, you know, being able to trust yourself more. You know, a lot of times it's hard to be able to do that, you know, um, because there are certain situations in our life where we, when we don't know what's around that corner, we don't know what we're walking into, it can be very scary because a lot of times when things get uncomfortable, we run back to what we're familiar with and that's where universe constantly sends tests it's just like if I close that door and, and tell you to take that person out your life don't go back don't go uh, put yourself back in a painful situation that God just kind of you know strongly blocked you from or you know allowing yourself to connect with things that are really on that vibration of wanting to see you happy, wanting to see you grow, wanting you to acknowledge acknowledge yourself to the fullest, you know. Um, being able to step out those zones of comfort, you know, and being able to do new things. And just really being able to see the side of yourself. You know, a lot of times I hate doing reflection. I used to hate really doing reflection on myself because it was so many different things I went through in my life that was very painful, you know, and just being able to accept 
you know, certain things in my life and really to acknowledge it because there's so much stuff right now that's coming to the surface that certain things you've probably forgot about because some of the situations have been so painful into your life where you automatically balked out because there's so many different things in my life that it came up and I was like, how did I not remember these things? But if you have gone through so much stuff back to back in your life uh, within within growth there's a lot of things that instead of us uh really coming to terms with it we we suppress it so there's a lot of things right now that you're going through that is starting to come back and it's reoccurring to see if you knew the lessons within that situation that you needed to know about yourself or are you uh allowing yourself to understand what's going on so you can move on from the next situation because everything is repeated until you allow yourself to you know come to terms with allowing yourself to let go allowing yourself to be able to be strengthened and a lot of times it's hard to be able to do that but until you do it keeps occurring and when it keeps occurring it's going to get worse every time and those are the situations where you can look and see you know god i have power i I never knew i can be this powerful you know um different things had to come in to where a lot of times you you know i say it you know and then not to be funny but a lot of times your enemies see your potential that's why they try so hard to make you feel like things can't get better in your life you you know you'll never amount to anything your dreams are too big You're, you're reaching too high um uh this is going to take a long process to where you know everything was promised to you was a lie you know and that's the illusion that that the devil wants us to be able to stay afloat in or you know keep allowing ourselves to see you know my life can't be better you know look at all the things that I went through you know nothing good really happened to me and if it did it was very short lived back to back to back and this is just like these things had to be that way for you to get come into an ultimate success in your into your life where it shows you you will never allow the times if you got to stand alone you're okay with being that because it's like you you come brutal when you okay with being alone a lot of people can't do that you know i i used to be that type of person where i, I don't like i didn't like being um alone with my thoughts and not realizing it was it was guiding me to the truth of myself for all the spiritual gifts that i had thank you spirit <laughs> it was like on uh, tipping it over to come in god give you a gift and say you're on track but um a lot of things that I didn't know about myself, I had to really keep it real. That's why I was just like, when I tell y'all stuff, is about me being transparent because there's so many different people out there can relate to the changes that I'm going through. You know, we're all, you know, it's like, Roz, you know, how are you, you know, you're telling my story. We're all going through different things. We're all having to go and dive deep to be able to accept the unaccepted, being able to forgive the un- unforgivable, even place love on your enemies, you know. And just being able to really strengthen your character on all the ways you need to or you didn't know how to. You're learning that through all these different changes. So life continues to hit us hard because this is the things that you really had to know. Unlearning what you've been taught. You know, all these different things had to come to light where, you know, there's a lot of a lot of us who went through abuse in all sorts of ways and being able to know. The situations that you have been connected with or you have held on to, you don't know that's going to be an inspiration for you to be able to change, being able to know, you know, because like I said before, your situations can either take you further down a rabbit hole or it can tell, tell you to reach that mountain, you know, drop those, you know, bags of sadness, drop those bags of resentment. You know, allowing yourself to have things that play, you know, that stay rent free in your mind that needs to be, you know, evicted out, you know, being able to forgive somebody for you know and seriously you know forgive other people you know just because you forgive somebody you don't have to let them back in your life you know some people you have to love from a distance some people you have to know is comfortable with misunderstanding you you know they know what they're doing but they choose to do what they want to do and all these different things that are taking place into your life it is just like oh my god you know when you look at your life and see how far you are you know even if you're not where you really desire to be these things are teaching you so much about yourself a lot of times when you're in toxic environments it's showing you know you're showing the people that are paying attention to you blocking you doing this and this and that you're showing them the healing process because a lot of times you you know if you hear on different especially when it comes to narcissists and stuff like that you with you being an empath you becoming their worst nightmare 
you know, and not realizing that. It's like, how are you becoming that worst nightmare? This person beat me down. This person constantly told me I'll never amount to nothing. That person constantly told me, you know, if people see your scars, they're not going to accept you. Or nobody will never love you. Like, you know, I love you. And then it, it's just like those are the situations that show you, you know, everybody has scars. Everybody's dealing with certain things that they don't let, allow people to know. That we're all dealing with something that's hard for us to be able to really you know, run deep and dive deep into or even accept or even let go, you know, and these are the things that's showing you you deserve better in your life and need peace in your life, regardless if somebody gave you closure or apologies, you know, uh, uh, you know, had apology or gave you apology or anything like that, this, um, these things take place for a reason you know these are the different things where you know your worth you know, you know that love is high um nobody can convince you otherwise your your purpose is, is power you know your power is purpose and um when these different things take place you know um it really really teaches you a lot of things you didn't know you know you had to be able to know about yourself and it's just like right now you're figuring that out you know, there's a lot of things where it's getting wild. Well, our, our energy is really just clashing with people. When you, I always tell people, when you're a Hayoka, or even when you're stepping in your power, and you're allowing the universe to manipulate their way, in a good way, you know, manipulate and guide you. Well, let me use that, let me use a different term. Uh, transforming, crossing wires, you know, to be able to let you, you know, you're allowing them to step into your life because a lot of times we have a bad habit. We're always alone or you feel like you're always alone. You're so used to doing things on your own. And a lot of times we don't know we're standing in our own way. <laughs> and God's like, okay, universe, say, okay, you, you, you know, you're sending masters, guys, and stuff like that are saying you, you're going to finally let us step in because you, you're making life harder than it really has to be for you. And um, when you allow yourself to do that, you, you actually feel the shift and everybody's feeling that shift. So things are starting to become challenging. It's like the more you heal, the more you're going to have to readjust your boundaries a lot. The more you're going to have to be very selective about what you entertain, what energies you're welcoming in your sacred place. You know, you're a vessel. You know, you're very precious. You're very priceless, regardless of what people try to tell you. You know, um, and you have that gift of gab where, you know, you probably when you were growing up, you gave people hugs. Or you told a lot of people, you, you know, you love them or things are going to be okay. And, you know, you are you were already in that vibration of where your love was needed. Even when you did not really feel that, your love was really needed. You know, and you're finding that out within all these trials and tribulations you're constantly, you know, constantly facing. You know, I had to be able to allow myself to know I love myself regardless of what people do, what people say, what people try to do. I love myself. You know, I send love to the people that try to hurt me. You know, I, I send love to people that wish death on me. You know, I send love to people that just didn't like me and didn't even know me, you know, and allow myself to be able to use my experience to be able to help other people as well as just helping myself, being able to help people to, to guide them towards some kind of uh, uh, insight, you know, about their self. Uh, this unfolding in front of them uh, to be able to understand you're never alone. There's so many people that can relate to the situations that you're, you know, you're trying to find your way out of. You know, allowing yourself to be going down different chapters of your life where you're healing. You know, uh, do self acceptance. You know, self assessing. Um, a lot of times we can go through different things where we can be angry at one minute. You get mad at yourself because you're being mad. You know, deep down inside, you know that things are going to be okay, even when it doesn't feel that way. And, you know, your soul is really trying to connect with you on that heightened level. You know, a lot of people are even hitting the 12D right now, which is powerful. You know, and a lot of it's happening because you don't know. As soon as I said that, I was like, there's a lot of us is hitting 12D right now, and that mess is uncomfortable. When I say it's uncomfortable, it's like it's hitting a fan. You're like, oh my God, what is going on? This is just so uncomfortable. Why are people acting like this? Why is life being like that? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting up here smelling sounds and I'm hearing colors. Why, why is it going on like that? But it's just like you don't realize what type of vibe you're on right now. And a lot of people, it irritates the heck out of them. You know, because they're trying to understand, you know, why all these different things that I've done and they're still rising. Why have everything that, I, you know, I've tried to block them from, they're still connecting. And these are the different things that your life is being used as a blessing, not just for you, but so for many people, even your enemies. 
You know, because you're proving no matter what somebody is doing, what no matter what people are saying, you you know, sometimes you have to understand it don't have to be materialistic things that people hate you or are jealous of you for. It could be, you know, just the way you stand out, how your energy is being accepted about people. People are intrigued by you in some kind of way. They're drawn to you or just how you're being loved. You know, that that's where a lot of people you're you're a walking trigger magnet. And, you know, and I forgot to say that earlier when I was talking about uh, when you're a hey, okay, and when you start when you opening yourself up to the universe and allowing yourself, you know, look, I, I'm trying to find my way. I'm lost in my own transition, uh, in transmutation, transcending, all this stuff. Universe, please guide me where I, you know, I need to be. Take the things out of my life that could be holding me back or even the thought process. You know, I'm giving all my troubles and power, you know, of what what tries to take over my power. I'm leaving that to y'all. Being able to appreciate things, sending love and blessings and even gratitude towards people that even did the most worst thing that even known a man can do. You know, and you're loving yourself. You're learning yourself all in a new way of where it's not built on illusion, built on lies or built on projections or fear of other people or even fear within yourself. It's being able to show yourself you can do anything you put your mind to. You know, and a lot of things it, it, it's going to take that time. A lot of times it's going to take you to really connect with things that you that terrifies the mess out of you. They always tell us, do things to make you scared. You know, because this is where you really step in your power to be able to allow yourself to know even fear is not taking control of where you need to be. It's not allowing you to hold yourself back. And a lot of times you have to understand even these hardships is showing you things can get better, but it's up to you to be able to allow yourself to do that. Nobody can't do that for you. You know, you have to be able to do that. A lot of times we're looking for a saving grace and don't realize you are that saving grace. You have to be that one that's saving you. You know, trying to feel like, oh, well, I can't leave this person until I heal them. Or I can't, you know, part ways with this person until they understand my love language. And a lot of people, they don't, they're not fluent in that. They, they committed to not wanting to know that that they're not trying to do that you know they want to stay on rosetta you know not it is like zeta pebble and it was a stone but it's zeta pebble and you're going through these different things where it shows you in so many different ways that you're really proving to yourself not to other people but you're proving to yourself you can walk in that power there's a reason why you know life had to hit you hard like that because it really needs you to know where you were from the from the core you want to look back at things and you'll be glad that people neglected you because it allowed you to know you can stand on your own you don't need people to be there to get towards that next level even though god will bring people in your life that is going to encourage you tell you to keep doing what you're doing you know they're appreciating the 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 kind gestures you're projecting out on people even when you didn't know them you know, I always tell people, your story, your story needs to be heard. Your story of what your situation is that really, you know, gave you that, that zen within yourself that, you know, you don't realize. It's like all of us, we can't, one person within a whole cannot change the world. But you just don't know what kind of energy or what kind of seed you're dropping to other people. And it's just like, here's your seed. You know, I'm not here to, you know, heal you. I can't do that. You have to allow yourself to heal. Um, but I'm showing you your seed. You didn't give them the seed, but you're showing them the seed. And put it that way, you're showing them the seed. Now it's up to them to plant it, to nourish it, you know, speak to it, placing love into it. Give, You know, give it to right proper water or, you know, different nourishments it needs. You know, some people are like, it's crazy to talk to plants. You know, I used to hear that. But then you have to understand it's a living organism, too. You know, at different times we get upset and heated when we see, you know, people abuse, you know, children or abuse other animals, you know, and they take fun at that. You know, it's just like, what's wrong with you? And they, I guess they feel like, oh, well, I'm not feeling it, you know, um, so it doesn't bother me. You know, that's life within a lot of people. It could be animals or people. It's not hurting you, but not realizing the things that I, the hurt and pain that I'm, you know, placing on different people. It is only hurting me. Even though we feel like it's directed towards them, you're you're creating that within your own life. You hurt people. You place hurt on yourself. You know when we allow ourselves to not forgive other people, they're saying we don't forgive ourselves. You know it's just like how do I? I love myself. I don't. How why do I gotta forgive myself? You have to forgive yourself for thinking that you love too hard. You need to allow yourself to forgive yourself 
for allowing different things to stay in your mind to where it kept you from being a better person. You know, allowing yourself to be accepting of things that took place in your life because it, it sent an impact to your life, whether it was negative or positive. It gave you some kind of strength to be able to heal on certain things, you know, bring certain things to light, being able to part ways with it, you know, being able to explore the unknown and seeing what it has in store for you. And a lot of things that you are facing at this time is really, is really, 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 you know, um, in helping you acknowledge yourself in a whole different vibration and a whole different light, you know, that you never seen possible. So if you know you're going through stuff and universe is really applying pressure to you, oh my God, you know, um, is really taking you towards a place that you really, you know, you never knew that existed, you never discovered about yourself. So you gonna understand why life had to hit you hard. Because it's just like your exact experience, your exact transformation, transcending, expiring to different things into your life that uh, that you just don't realize. <laughs> you know, it, it, you won't really understand when you finally get there. You know, you're, you're, you're moving through understanding with yourself and really don't know. Because there's a lot of moves you're making right now that's even surprising you. You know, especially in the midst of it all, all the things you're currently facing right now, if you're, you're hitting trials like no, never before, you know, there'll be different things that feel unbearable. But then it's just like when you finally overcome that, <laughs> when you finally allow yourself to step in that power, it, it's just your energy. You can be in, in Florida right now. You'll hear, probably feel that mess in, in Russia, you know, and that's that's what you're doing. And it's, it's just you don't realize just that's one of those beautiful viruses of allowing people to show anything is possible. If you choose to change, you place your mind to it. This is what can happen. We are, A lot of times we put our mind and focus and energy on the wrong things on the wrong way or you know wrong situations so a lot of time we place out negative vibes towards other things because you know whatever we're going through but there's a lot of times that we push love out to other things that we want to you know if you go through different things where I would say I want to hit a point again where you, people just misunderstand you or people use your kindness for weakness never feel like you know uh, you don't deserve to be loved because everybody does, you know, allow yourself to not resent the love that you gave for other people because you were that blessing they needed at the time. And sometimes they don't recognize that as a blessing until it's too late. So allow yourself to keep growing. Allow yourself to, you know, really understand yourself to the core. You know, and a lot of times we're our own confusion. We're our own worst critic and we're our own worst enemy. But these are those things that know that is luring you to be your own best friend, your own best guardian angel and your best protector because you're a warrior. Everything that stands for that, it, it don't come easy. This is what we're facing, what we're doing is not for the weak at heart. Because there's a lot of things that you're doing, a lot of people would not even dare to step in that territory that you are already surpassed many times. So allow yourself to know bigger is, is coming your way just because of all the harshness that you have really faced in your life. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video. Y'all, I missed y'all. You know, I've been having to step back, you know, pour into my own cup. And, you know, I, I really had to be able to you know, really see things from different ways. And that's what we're all going through. You know, don't feel like it's, uh, don't feel like you're uh, becoming detached or anything like that from reality. But there's a lot of things where it's guiding you to be in solitude right now. You, you know, you're taking a break from social media, from family, friends, you know, uh, different things that come into your surroundings where it's really needing your attention for self. So I hope this is really helping you. You know, um, like I said, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. Um, uh, it's all about spiritual networking, being able to help out, you know, giving a, a deeper understanding of what you may be going through, you know, um, just being able to share the things that you've gone through and just try to get insight on why certain things happen the way, what is it trying to lead you to, you know, I try my best to be able to, you know, help out the best way I can, whatever we speak on is confidential, you know, um, if you're interested in podcasting, I also have that on my community page as well as, you know, memes or different things that's going on in the atmosphere where it's really hitting us because there are a lot of things that's going on right now. You're probably bumping energy with a lot of people. You're constantly getting triggered. You know, a lot of things that you felt like you were getting, you know, you don't got over and healed from is coming up again because there's certain parts of yourself that's still there that needs to, you know, really go. And you're really, you're really hitting that. Because it's like new beginnings. You're in your new beginning. You're on a, a higher frequency than you even realize. Because the more you do that, the more harder things get. It's just like you're playing video games. At every level you go through, you know, it, it, you know it's a different sequence or it's a di different uh, 
a thing that you're trying to overcome or you're trying to protect yourself from or you're trying to, you know, heal from. These are all the things that are going on. So, you know, it is 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 there. <laughs> so, um, and even if you uh, are grateful, um, uh, grateful enough to send a donation, is greatly appreciated or generous enough. That's are grateful enough. Gen if you would like to donate to the channel, be greatly appreciated. Cap, uh, Ash Cap. Hey, oh, good thing going on. <laughs> Cash app is right there. I said Ash Cap. God, dog. Okay, it's down in the description box below. You know, I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, Pro Healer Gwendolyn Arheen. Much love to you. Welcome to the fam. Hey, y'all, rest. Much love to the fam. Glad that my, my videos has really helped you. It's really truly appreciated. And, you know, drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Whatever you are facing right now and trying to, you know, put your manis into fruition. I'm sending you all the loving vibes that you truly need to stay persistent and consistent. If you have to take a break, take a break. But allow yourself to jump back on. Seeing the new vibrations of views that's really showing you and teaching you in life that can really be explored. You know, and keep going. You know, everything that you, you're, you know, you, you got something that's worth fighting for. You know, you got to be able to walk walk strong like you know you got ancestors behind you so you know i hope you have a blessed week much love to you how it's like weekend i can't believe it's friday already is it friday but <laughs> anyways have a blessed weekend you know even through uh social distancing please go ahead give love like positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things really take somebody a long way and much love to you peace